everyone, this is Kalpana here in this video. We are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem solve. D minus 1 whole cube into y equals to e power x into cos a, cos 2x plus x squared. Right? So firstly, let's find order and degree of the given differential equation. Fine. Now let's expand D minus 1 whole cube. Using a minus b whole cube, which is equal to a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into a minus b. Which is equal to d cube minus 1 minus 3d into d is 3d square minus into plus, sorry, minus into minus plus. 3d into 1 is 3. Right? So, the expansion of d minus 1 whole cube is d cube minus 3d square plus 3d minus 1 into y equals to e power x into cos 2x plus x square. Identify the highest derivative here. d cube is the highest derivative, so our order will be 3. And highest power of the highest derivatives are degree 1. Okay. Or just write the given differential equation by replacing differential operator. We know that d is a differential operator. Then d square will be. And d cube will be. Right. So now let's write our equation as. d cube y minus 3d square y plus 3dy. Minus y equals to e power x into cos 2x plus x square. Now we can write d cube y as d cube y by dx cube minus 3 into write d square y as d square y by dx square plus 3 into write dy as dy by dx minus y equals to e power x into cos 2x plus x square. So here d cube y by dx cube is the highest derivative, so our order will be 3. And highest power of the highest derivative is a degree. Degree is 1. Right? Now coming to the problem. Given differential equation. D minus 1 whole cube into y equals to e power x into cos 2x plus x squared. Which is in operator form. F of d into y equals to q. Where. F of d equals to d minus 1 whole q. And q is. e power x into cos 2x. Plus. x square. Here we need to find. The general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Where yc is a complementary function, yp is a particular integral. We will find yc using the roots of the auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. By putting RHS to 0, we will get the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. And we will find yp using 1 by from d into q. Now let's find yc and yp. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we have f of d, d minus 1 whole cube. Let's replace differential operator by m so that we'll get f of m equals to m minus 1 whole cube. Then auxiliary equation becomes m minus 1 whole cube equals to 0. We can write m minus 1 whole cube as m minus 1 into m minus 1 into m minus 1 equals to 0. Equate each factor to 0. If m minus 1 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to 1 since m minus 1 is repeating twice so we get m equals to 1 1 1 3 equal roots therefore 
m equals to 1, 1, 1 are the roots of our auxiliary equations say f of m equals to 0 which are equal. Three roots are equal, say m1 equals to m2 equals to m3, then yc will be c1 plus c2x plus c3x square into e power that equal root into x. Since we are having three equal roots, so we'll get three terms under brackets, right? including three constants. Fine. Now let's write a complementary function. y c equals to c1 plus c2 x plus c3 x square into e power equal root 1 into x. Then yc will be c1 plus c2x plus c3x square into e power x. So these are required yc. Now let's find yp. Particular integral. We'll find particular integral using 1 by f of d into q. We have f of d in q where f of d is d minus 1 whole q. And q is e power x into cos 2x plus x squared. Right? And this is of 1 by f of d into e power x into cos, sorry, into v form. 1 by f of d into e power ax into v form, right? We'll shift e power ax towards left by replacing d with d plus a. And later we'll operate b with 1 by f of d plus a. Right now compare e power x with e power ax. Then for a equals to 1, we'll find d plus a. Since e equals to d plus 1, right? Now let's shift e power x towards left by replacing this d with d plus 1. We'll get replace d with d plus 1 minus 1 whole q into cos 2x plus x square, right? Then yp becomes e power x into 1 by remove these brackets, we will get d plus 1 minus 1 whole q into cos 2x plus x square. Here plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled and we will get e power x into 1 by d cube into cos 2x plus x square. We can write 1 by d cube as 1 by d square into 1 by d into cos 2x plus x squared. Since 1 by d is an integral operator, right? So we can find integration of cos 2x plus x squared. Okay. This is equals to e power x into 1 by d square into integral cos 2x plus integral x square. Okay, here we will get dx, right? dx plus integral x square dx which is equal to e power x into 1 by d square into since we know that integral cos ax dx is sine ax by a and integral x power n dx equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 for n not equals to minus 1. We have n not equals to minus 1. So we can apply this formula for integral x square and compare cos 2x with ax. Then for a equals to 2, we'll apply this formula. We'll get sine 2x by 2 plus 
x cube by 3. Again, we can write this as e power x into right to 1 by d square as 1 by d into 1 by d into. We can write sine 2 x by 2 as 1 by 2 into sine 2 x and x cube by 3 as 1 by 3 into x cube. Again, perform 1, 1 by d. That is, we'll perform integration here. Right, this equals to e power x into 1 by d into 1 by 2 integral sine 2 x dx. Plus 1 by 3 into integral x cube dx. Right? This is equals to e power x into 1 by d into 1 by 2 into integral sin ax. Since integral sin ax dx is minus cos ax by a, then we'll get just compare sin 2x with sin ax, therefore a equals to 2, we'll get minus cos 2x by 2 plus 1 by 3 into, here perform integral x power n formula, we'll get x power 3 plus 1 x power 4 by 4. We can write this as e power x into 1 by d into 1 by 2 into minus cos 2x by 2, I'll write it as minus 1 by 2 to the 4 into cos 2x plus 1 by 3 into x power 4 by 4 can be written as 1 by 3 4 the 12 into x power 4, right? Now perform 1 by d here. This equals to e power x into integral of minus 1 by 4 cos x plus 1 by 12 x power 4 into dx. This is 2x, not x. We can write this as e power x into minus 1 by 4 into integral cos 2x dx plus 1 by 12 into integral x power 4 dx. This equals to e power x into minus 1 by 4 into integral cos 2x dx is sine 2x by 2 plus 1 by 12 into integral x power 4 dx is x power 5 by 5. Then this becomes e for x into minus sine 2x by 4 to the 8 plus 1 into x power 5, x power 5 by 12 into 5, 16. Now take the LCM of 8 and 16. LCM of 8 and 16. To 4 are 8. 2 3 is a 6, 0. 2 3 is a 60. 2 2 is a 4. 2 15 is 30. 2 1 is a 2 15 is. 3 5 is a 5 1 is a. 2 2 is a 4. 4 2 is a 8. 8 is a 24. 5 2 is a. Sorry. 5 4 is a 20. 5 2 is a 10, 10 plus 2 12, right? 120 is our LCM. So we'll get, see in the new, in the denominator first term we are having 8. 2 2 is a 4, 4 2 is a 8. Cover these 3, we'll get 3 pi is a 15, right? Multiply 15 to this numerator, we'll get minus 15 sine 2 x, okay, plus. In the denominator we are having 60, right? I mean, in the denominator of second term, we are having 60. Okay. 3 5 is a 15. 15 2 is a 60. Sorry. 15. 3 5 is a 15. 15 2 is a 30. 32 is a 60. So, cover all this and multiply this 2 to this numerator. We will get 2x power 5. Right. Or 2 by 120 is 1 by 60 since you are having denominator of second term 60 but here you are having 120 so it's enough to multiply 2 to this x power 5 here right fine 
Now we can write yp as e power x into split this fraction as 1 by 120 into minus 15 sine 2x plus 2x power 5. Also we can write it as e power x into 1 by 120 into firstly write the term involving plus sign you'll get 2 into x power 5 and next we'll, term, we'll write the term involving minus sign you'll get minus 15 sine 2x. Then yp becomes e power x or 1 by 120. 1 by 120 into e power x into 2x power 5 minus 15 sine 2x or e power x by 120 into 2x power 5 minus 15 sine 2x. We got yp and yc so let's write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. We have yc and yp, right? Then our y will be yc we are having c1 plus c2x plus c3x square into e power x and yp is plus e power x by 120 into 2x power 5 minus 15 sine 2x. This completes our problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.